Welcome to the lesson where we'll be looking at how to round numbers to decimal places. Stay tuned. We're going to look at rounding this number here to one decimal place. So that means that we want to keep only one number after a decimal point. So how do we do this? We draw a line after the first number and we look at the number next to it. Now this number will help us decide if this number stays the same or if it increases to an 8. If this number here is 5 and above, meaning 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, we'll change this number to 8. So your answer would be 7.8. But if it's less than 5, then we'll keep it the same. We'll keep it 7.7. .7. Okay, so since this number is less than 5, then this number here, 7, will stay the same. So your answer will be 7.7 .7 to one decimal place. Okay. Let's look at the same number, but let's round it to two decimal places. But this time we want to keep two numbers after the decimal point. So we draw a line after the 4. So again, like we did with the previous question, we look at the number next to the 4, and it's a 5. Therefore, that this number 4 will increase to a 5. So your answer is 7.75 to two decimal places. Right, okay, so now we're going to look at the second question here. So the number is 13.49581, and we're going to round this to one decimal place. So again, we draw a line after the 4, and we look at the number next to it. Again, it's 5 and above. Yep, it's a 9. Therefore, we need to increase this number to a 5. Okay, so our answer is 13.5 uh, to one decimal place. Okay, right, so we're going to look at this number and we're going to write it to two decimal places now. So to two decimal places, we draw a line after the second digit, right, and we look at the number next to it. Right, this number here is 5, and which means that it's 5 and above. Right, so we increase the number. So 9 won't increase to a 10, right? We can't do that here. So we have to increase the 49, so it's 5, 0 to a 50. Yep. So we would write down 13.50 to two decimal places. Okay. Okay, so this number has been written to two decimal places. As you can see, after the decimal point, we have two numbers, like this question and this question. Okay, so let's look at one more example. Okay, so to this question to one decimal place, again after the decimal point we've got a zero, we draw a line after the zero, and we look at the number next to it. Because it's five and above, seven is above five, right, we'll increase the zero to a one. So we've got zero point one to one decimal point. Right, okay, so the same number to two decimal places we're going to do. So to round this number to two decimal places, we want to draw a line after two digits, yeah, because we want to keep two numbers. Now we look at the number next to the 7, because it's 5 and above, we'll increase that 7 to an 8. Yep, so we're left with 0 0.08 to two decimal places. Right, so now that you know how to round numbers to decimal places, have a go at these two questions here, when you need to round these numbers to one decimal place, two decimal places, and three decimal places. Pause the video and then press play for the answers. Right, okay, so let's go through the first question. We want to round 3,552.6556 to one decimal point. So we draw a line after the first number after the decimal point. We look at the number next to it, because it's five and above, we're going to round this to a seven. Okay, so our number is three, five, five, two, and a seven. Um, let's round the same number to two decimal places now. So what do we do? Instead of drawing a line after the first digit, we draw a line after the second digit, right? And we look at the number next to the 5 again, because it's 5 and above, we'll increase the 5 to a 6. So our number is 3552.66. Now we're going to round the number to three decimal places. So we haven't done a question yet, rounding a number to three decimal places, but it's the same idea. Right, so we will draw a line after the third number, after the decimal point. And again, we look at the number next to it. Because it is 5 and above, we will increase the 5 to a 6. Okay, so our number is 3552.6565 and 6. Okay, so let's go through question number 2. Let's round this number to one decimal place. 0 0.078901. 
So what do we do? We do the same as what we've done in the previous question. We draw a line after the first number after the decimal point. We look at the number next to it. Because it is 7, 5 and above, this 0 will round to a 1. So our answer is 0 0.1. Okay, so then the same number to two decimal places. So instead of drawing a line after the first digit, we draw a line after the second digit. And we look at the number next to it. Because it's 5 and above, uh, we will round the 7 up. So it will be 0 0.08. And let's do the last question where we have to round this to three decimal places. So instead of drawing a line after the second digit, we'll draw a line after the third digit. Okay. And we look at the number next to the 8, which is a 9. Because it's 5 and above, we'll increase the 8. So it's a 9. So 0 0.08. Zero, seven, okay, nine. so uh, now you know how to round numbers to decimal places. Why don't you try these two questions over here? Pause the video and have a go. Right, so let's go through this question here. We're going to round this number to one decimal place, two decimal places, and then three decimal places. So we draw a line after the two. We look at the number next to it. Because it's five and above, we increase the two to a three. So our answer is three, zero, five, dot, three. Uh, let's look at the second question. We're running to two decimal places, so we draw a line after the 8. Okay, We look at the number next to it. Because the number is less than 5, we keep the 8 as it is. And the answer is 305.28. And um, the number to three decimal places, we draw a line after the 4. And we look at the number next to it, it's above 5, we'll increase the 4, we'll change the 4, so it's a 5. So our answer is 305.285. This number 0 0.795032 to one decimal place. So we draw a line after the first digit, after the decimal point. We look at the number next to it, it's 5 and above, so we change the 7 to an 8. So our answer is 0. Point 0.8 to one decimal place. Right, so the second question will be to write this number to two decimal places. So instead of drawing a line after the first digit, we'll draw a line after the 9. So the number next to the 9 is a 5. Um, so we will change the 9. We can't change it to a 10. So we'll change the 79 to an 80. So the answer is 0 0.80 to two decimal places. Okay. A possible question that you could be asking me here is that why do we write this so it's 0 0.80 and not just 0 0.8 because they're the same number. But the question is asking us to write our answer to two decimal places. So we need two numbers after the decimal point. So it's important to keep the zero there. To three decimal places now, we draw a line after the third digit after the decimal point. And we look at the number next to it. This number is less than five Therefore, we keep this number the same. So we would write 0 0.795. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this lesson and you've learnt how to round numbers to decimal places. See you in the next lesson.